and welcome. Welcome, everybody, to a meditation a day here on Enlightened World Network. I am today's host. My name is Mira Rubin, and we're going to be uh, working with Marsha Martin today. I'm going to introduce you in just a moment, Marsha. I just want to make some announcements. There's all kinds of great programming this weekend on Enlightened World Network. Tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, all these times are Eastern time, will be Robert Painley with Robert's Haunted Pajama Party. So that's at 10 p.m. Eastern. And then tomorrow, Saturday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern is Coffee and Conversation with Terry Angel and Gerald Ann Peterson. And then at 9.30, we have Come to the Playground with Diane Allison Byersdorfer. And then at 1 p.m. tomorrow is Divinely Inspired by the Numbers with Michelle Landers. And so we hope you'll join us for a wonderful weekend of programming with Enlightened World. And I just want to introduce Marsha Martin. Marsha uh, is on Angel Heart Radio, and Marsha is the heart healer. So take it away, Marsha. Welcome. Thank you so much, Mira. I'm delighted to be here. And I'm so delighted to share today the energy of Archangel uh, Ariel, not Raphael, <laughs> Archangel Ariel. And I, Archangel Raphael, of course, is our healing energy, and he is quite prevalent at this time. But Archangel Ariel is the energy of abundance, and she is a lively energy of joy. And so it is so important at this time when we feel that we may be experiencing great loss, that we take our eyes and our attention and our just point of focus away from what may have been lost and put it on to all that we have gained and all of the abundance that is still surrounding us and increasing every day. So Archangel Ariel also works with the animals. So if you are an animal enthusiast, Archangel Ariel would accompany you often. She enjoys the water and all of the water animals, and she's absolutely delighted about the incredible healing that the planet has received because all of us were asked to slow down and and withdraw into our inner selves for a while. But today she wants to share with us the energy of abundance so that we can step out of that place of fear over what we may have lost or what we fear we may be losing in the future and step into this beautiful aligned state where we recognize that everything we need will come to us at the appropriate time and in the most beautiful way when we just do our job of staying in alignment. So that's what she's going to share with us today. And I'm just delighted that you're here to share that with me, Vera. It's my pl privilege and pleasure. Well, thank you. Looking forward to it. So let us just close our eyes and allow the energy of peace, the energy of joy, and the energy of love to begin forming around us, to envelop us, to guide us and direct our steps. And as your body begins to relax, as you let go of all of the stresses and the worries and the cares, and just bring your entire being into this moment of peace and love Enjoy. 
I ask that you place your attention on your higher self point, which is about 10 to 12 inches above your head. And there you will see or feel or hear the beautiful energy of Archangel Ariel and all other energies on the pink ray with her. Allow this beautiful energy, this energy of luminescence and love to move down from your higher self point into your crown and through the crown to the midbrain area. And now forward to the third eye. And as this energy is moving its way through your being, relax into it. Release all fear and limiting beliefs and allow the energy to heal and honor every part of your being. And now moving the energy back to the midbrain area, that psychic center, that place where we align with the divine. Be filled with the energy of joy and abundance. And now allow the energy to move to the nape of the neck, the Alta Major Chakra. And forward to the throat for clear speaking. And down to the thymus, which is located midway between the throat and the heart. It's our connection to all. And moving the energy now down into the heart. You may feel warm. And you may feel that the energy is spreading. Allow it to spread. Allow your heart to be filled with joyous abundance. And now move the energy down into your solar plexus. the sacrum and the root. And let us extend this energy down into the heart of Mother Earth, down through the pranic tube. Allow this beautiful energy of love and acceptance to flow into the grid the crystalline grid that renews and restores, allow this energy of love to anchor you into the grid as it provides love and acceptance to Mother Earth and all beings who live upon her or within her. And Mother Earth shares with you her ability to renew, to restore, and to revitalize. And the combined stream of energy, the energy of unconditional love, and the energy of rebirth and revitalization join together and move now up through the pranic tube. And they bless the earth and everything in it and on it. And now move up so they may bless the root, the sacrum, the solar plexus, the heart, thymus, throat, nape of the neck, 
midbrain, third eye, crown, and let us allow this combined stream of glorious energy to move up through the higher self point and be given as a gift of gratitude to God that they may add their completion, their understanding of all that is, their absolute comprehension that there is more than enough for all, that well-being is available to each and every one, and that each being is always safe and loved. And they send this understanding out into all the universes, known and unknown, and down upon the earth and everything in it and on it. But the most sacred portion of this energy comes now down through the higher self point, down through the crown, and directly into your heart, where it expands to nourish and nurture each and every dream. Now I want you to take a dream that is dear to your heart, a dream that feels impossible, that could only be accomplished with divine support. Allow that dream to gain substance in that sacred space of the heart. You may see yourself holding it, loving it, exploring it. Allow it to grow. Allow it to blossom. Gaze upon it without judgment. Allow it to be whatever is for your highest good. Allow it to be whatever honors your passion and your purpose. And now allow that dream to become even clearer, larger, more distinct. Allow yourself to begin interacting with this thing that you desire. See it gaining a life of its own. Feel the joy, the reward, the freedom that you now feel because you are doing that which has called to your heart for so long you are achieving that dream that seemed impossible. Archangel Ariel and all of her helpers are here with you to encourage you to continue to feed this dream with the understanding and the knowledge that it was given to you for a reason. You have the skill, you have the passion, 
you have the willingness. Take this time, this assistance from Archangel Ariel, and breathe life into that dream. Let go of the limiting belief. Let go of the fear and step in to abundance. Step into the place where God abounds. Step into your alignment where you will receive the guidance that you need. And just let go of how and when. Let go of all the limitations Let go of everything that you feel you're not able to do. Turn it over to the angels. Archangel Ariel is here to remind you. You live in an abundant universe. You are part of an abundant divine being. You are unlimited in what is available. Open your heart now and receive that truth. Receive that understanding. Take it in. Let it become who you are. Allow the name you call yourself to be. Abundance. More than enough. Capable and worthy. Breathe life into that dream. And now sit back, knowing that everything you need in order to bring this dream from the energetic heart space into the reality your physical reality will be given to you. Your work is to believe, to be available, to stay aligned, to receive. Accept your magnificence. Claim your abundance and honor all that you are. And now drink deeply of the love and the abundance. and the wisdom that is pouring down upon you. For surely God has judged you and found you to be more than enough, worthy and brilliant just as you are. And now it's your turn to take that knowledge and fly.
Archangel Ariel is leading you wrapped in a blanket of pink and gold light. She will be as close as your next breath. But she will not interfere. Call upon her if you need her or desire her help. Know that you are worthy and that you are always safe and loved. And so it is. We thank you, Archangel Ariel, for leading us and guiding us into this truth. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank Arch you. Archangel Ariel is a very special being of love that just wants us to understand that we live in a world of abundance and that when we see lack, it is because we have chosen to see it, not because it is the reality that we could be experiencing. So let's just learn through sharing with each other and guiding each other and teaching each other. Let's learn to shift our guide, our gaze away from what we don't have and onto all that we do have. And I love that you incorporated your biggest dream and opened up the possibility of that also in this meditation of abundance. It was beautiful. Thank you. I, I just feel that there is such a feeling of loss in the world through, you know, it doesn't matter whether it is through someone who's chosen to transition or just your job is no, it has closed and may not reopen or the loss of the freedom. You know, we have very limited choices on what, how we can interact right now. So there is such a pervasive feeling of loss and it can begin swallowing you if that's all you see. And so we've got to keep our gaze on what we have gained and all that is possible. And it's time for us to shift. You know, we were in this heavily masculine, unhealthy masculine pattern for a long time. And now we need to recognize that all of us have to shift into a more cooperative divine feminine pattern while we honor the divine masculine in a way that it wasn't honored previously so that we step back into balance. And that means, because then the divine masculine is such an important part of the structure of the universe. So it means fully integrating both halves so that we can achieve those incredible dreams that have always seemed impossible up until now. Yes, I, I tend to agree that this is a time of unprecedented possibility, for sure. Uh, amazing growth will come out of this period. Yeah, for sure. I, I don't think there's a doubt about it. Marsha, how can people find you? How can they reach out to you? Oh, please join me on my website. It's MarshaMartinTheHeartHealer.com. 
and that's Marcia spelled M-A-R-C-I-A or mmhearthealer.com. And you can see many, many ways to either work with me personally, join my community, or just many, many free resources that can help you support you on your spiritual journey. Perfect. And thank you to everyone who's listening and everyone who is part of the growing and expanding and life-giving community of Enlightened World Network. Please share widely. Let's, let's build our connection and build our community and uh, build the hope and light in the world. Thank you, Marcia. Thank you, Mira. It's been such a pleasure.